this is the day. We are excited. We are excited. We are excited. And we are here to celebrate this wedding ceremony of Adam and Lindsay. We love them. And on behalf of them, I say thank you for joining us here today. I started going to, uh, I changed churches. I started going to First Baptist of Plant City. And um, I started going to a small group on Sunday nights. And that's where I met Lindsay. So then we ended up um, like just still seeing each other at church, we went to the same small group. Um, then there was a time where um, after small group we always go get food and stuff and so then we ended up um, going to Dairy Queen with a bunch of our friends and all my friends interrogated him because um, they were just assuming that he liked me. A friend of mine, Danny, uh, asked me to go on a double date with him, and I said, well, I don't have a girlfriend right now, and so he said, we'll find one. <laughs> and so I thought about Lindsay, and um, I knew where she worked. She worked at um, Lakeside Village, and so I went over there to see her. And so he came and visited me <laughs> um, at the store, and so I was like, oh, he definitely likes me because, like, what guy comes into a retail store to say hi to me. Um, but to this day, he still says that he was just my friend and he just wanted to like visit. Either the second or third time, uh, it was kind of awkward because there was another girl that she worked with there and she kind of talked a lot. Um, so I couldn't really find like a good opportunity. So I stood there for probably about an hour. And so then, um, that's just weird. Like, guys just don't hang out in retail stores for like an hour. <laughs> and then by the end of that time, um, he finally asked me out on a date, which like it kind of felt like it was coming. And so once it happened, it was awkward at first. But it was really cute the way they did it. And then, um, uh, and then before I left, I asked her if she would go on a date with me. And um, so she said, yeah. And then we met for coffee. Um, and then my friend Danny actually bailed on me, and so me and Lindsay went on our own date, and uh, that's kind of how we met. As you look at each other and you make vows to one another, and remember this one thing that we've already talked about. Your wedding day is where promises are made, but your marriage are where those promises are kept. I want to start off with the first long talk we had at Crazy Cup for about a couple hours after a midweek one week. And uh, once we got to our car, we uh, realized that Lindsay and her friends were kind of sitting in the car, you know, wondering what we were talking about. So that was like the first time that I knew something was kind of going on. So I thought that was kind of, kind of interesting. But then I also remember from when we used to hang out a lot, the first time you asked me if Lindsay could come over, of course the answer was yes, right? And I just saw like your eyes kind of light up. You're like, really? Oh, it's going to be great. So we all hang out. We all had dinner. It was a great time. So beginning to our, our long friendship and, and y'all's uh, endearing marriage now. Um, as I listened to Lindsay tell me about Adam, she told me how he was kind and how he was caring, how he loved the Lord deeply, and how he understood her sense of humor and her sarcasm. As I listened to my friend talk about this new man in her life, I knew that she had found her special someone, her the man who would treasure her and cherish her for the true treasure that she is to me and to everyone around her. I, Adam, take you, Lindsay. I, Lindsay, take you, Adam. To be my wife, my partner in life. To be my husband and my partner in life. My best, my best friend, friend and my, my one true, true love. love. As I love the Lord, so do I love you. I do promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife. 
to be your loving and faithful husband. I will, I will trust, trust you, you and respect, respect you. you, encourage you and inspire you, laugh with you and cry with you. I love you in good times and bad times. From this day forward, all that I have is yours. For, for as, as long as we both, both shall live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Mr. Adam Heaney, you may kiss your bride. Have I not commanded you to be strong and of good courage, do not be afraid nor, nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So always remember that the Lord is definitely with you and um, he'll guide you through the storms of life. First step.